Hey everyone. Well, believe it or not, we are in chapter 28 in the book of Acts, which is uh, the last chapter in the book of Acts. We've come through the whole book. And i got to admit, this is the first time I've ever actually uh, taught. <laughs> and I know I'm kind of just going through a survey, but this is the first time I've actually ever uh, went through the whole book trying to teach it to someone else. So... Uh, praise God for that. Um, we are... I'm in Texas. At a rest area. Sorry about the lighting. But, uh... Remember I put this hinge on my Bible here. And it worked perfect on my other truck. This one... See, it sits like that. And it's supposed to hold on the wheel. It doesn't do it. So... Let me show you what I will call redneck ingenuity a simple plastic spoon <laughs> and I'm going to whoops sorry about that uh, I can't show you but I put the spoon like that and now let's see if it works look at there you can laugh, it's okay. Uh, the lighting really stinks. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, we're gonna finish up. I'm trying to get my curtain out, folks. Excuse me. There, sorry about that. Book of Acts, yeah, my little spoon trick works. And it holds it really good, so that's cool. Um, the Book of Acts, chapter 28. Now, if anything I want you to get out of this is the transition that we have made since Acts chapter 1. Uh, we went predominantly to the Jew in Acts chapter 1. And we're going to find out in uh, Acts chapter 28 that it's going to predominantly go uh, to the Gentile. Now that doesn't mean it's a, a rule. There's always a remnant of uh, Jews that get saved in, uh, in any dispensation. But in this one, uh, we're going to find out that uh, it... it uh, it will go mainly to the Gentile. All right. Uh, now I got my map, which is not a very good map. But this Malta is this Melita. They, the, we call it Malta today. And that's where we're going to start at. And then we're going to come up here to Sicily. And he's going to come in through here uh, to the three ends and then to Rome. Uh, in Acts chapter 28. So let's get started. And when they were escaped, uh, then they knew that the island was called Melita. Uh, that's the island they call Malta now. And the barbarian, the barbarous people showed us no little kindness for they kindled a fire and received us, everyone, because of the present rain and because of the cold. Remember, it was winter time, so uh, the people on the islands uh, being nice to them. Barbarous people, uh, you know, today we say, well, a barbarian, you know, that you think of uh, someone that's uh, not, you know, that'll just kill and steal and rape and all that, but... Uh, in the Bible, there are barbarous people. He's talking about uh, strangers, strangers of, of the land, strangers, someone that's not, uh, you know, of their Jew or Roman, they're barbi barbarians. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper, a viper is a snake, out of the heat and fastened onto his hand. So this viper bites him. 
And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom, though he hath escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not to live. Uh, and he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Howbeit, now they changed their whole mind. <laughs> Howbeit, they looked when he should have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly. But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm to come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Uh, this is, of course, a pagan thing. And so, because he didn't die, now they think he's a god. Uh, go back to... Mark, real quick. Mark chapter 16. I totally should have had this marked. Sorry about that. Mark chapter 16. And at the end of Mark chapter 16, when the Lord's given him the commission, uh, okay, uh, start with verse 14 after afterward he appeared unto the eleven he's talking to apostles here now you got to get that straight a lot of people apply this to uh, to the church today and it's not it's for the apostles and the apostolic age he said when he uh, appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and abraded them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he had risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Uh, that's not teaching baptismal uh, regeneration because the last part uh, said if you don't believe you're damned, not if you don't believe and you're not baptized. Uh, anyway, that has nothing to do with my study today. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Okay? This is why I said all that to say this. He's handling serpents. That doesn't mean, like they do today, that you're supposed to tempt God and grab a serpent or drink a deadly drink because it's not for this age. It's, it was for the ap uh, apostle age. And uh, Paul did get bit by a snake, a deadly snake, and did not die, just like Jesus had predicted and said these signs will follow. All right. Uh, Verse 17, it says right here, the arrival at Rome. And, he, and it came to pass that after three days, Paul called the chief of the Jews together. And when they were come together, he said unto them, Men and brethren, though I have committed nothing against the people or customs of our fathers, yet was I delivered prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. He always goes to the Jew first and then to the Greek, remember. Uh, who, when they had examined me, would have let me go because there was no cause of death in me. But when the Jews spake against it, I was constrained to appeal unto Caesar. Not that I had ought to accuse my nation of... Uh, for this cause, therefore, I have called you to see you and to speak with you, because that from the hope of Israel I am bound with this chain. He's, he loves his people. He's wanting them to get converted. And they said unto him, We neither received letters of, out of Judea concerning thee, neither any of the brethren that came showed up or spake any harm of thee. Uh, they hadn't uh, gotten anything from Jerusalem saying anything to them. But we desire to hear of thee what, think, what thou thinkest, for as concerning this, this sect, Christians, 
we know that everywhere it is spoken against, all the Jews are talking against it. Uh, and when they had appointed him a day, they, there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets. That's all they had is the Old Testament folks. Uh, from morning till evening. So he talked all day to them. And some believed, which were spoken, and some believed not. So there's always a remnant that gets saved. But this is the last time uh, the Jews reject their Messiah, uh, as, at least in the book of Acts. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed after that Paul had spoken one word, well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah, the prophet, that's Isaiah, unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people, and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Uh, for the heart of this people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, or hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted. And I should heal them. That's Isaiah chapter 6 uh, verses 9 and 10 if you want to look that up and Jesus in uh, oh Matthew I think Matthew 19 maybe uh, quoted the same verse now listen to this be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles and that they will hear it Acts chapter 2 all about the Jew all the way until Acts chapter 10, Acts chapter 15, they get the council together, and they say, okay, we will, uh, you're saved by grace, and uh, the uh, Gentiles are saved by grace, just like us, and, and they decided that, and now uh, Acts chapter 28, 28, he said he's going to the Gentile, for they will hear it, and he does, uh, he's the uh, apostle to the Gentile. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had great reasoning among themselves. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came unto, in, in unto him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus with all confidence, no man forbidding him. Now, it just stops right there. Uh, church tradition, Eusebius or Arabus or whatever, uh, said that Paul was killed in Rome uh, by beheading with his, uh, they took a sword and cut his head off. And uh, we don't know by scripture, but uh, that's probably what happened. And he was killed by Nero, probably when Nero was really, you know, he was burning Rome and blaming the Christians and uh, Paul was not crucified. Now, Peter, they say, was crucified upside down. But they couldn't crucify Paul because he was a uh, Roman citizen. Uh, and they were not allowed to crucify Roman citizens. So he had his head cut off, if that's true. But it ends right there. And then uh, it goes right into his epistles. Now, Romans, I believe he wrote uh, Hebrews. Through Hebrews, uh, I believe are the epistles of Paul. And he is uh, the apostle to the Gentile. But of course, the book of Hebrews is written to the Jew. It is a, uh, for the Hebrews. And just as Acts is a transitional book, uh, the book of Hebrews is a transitional book. It takes you from uh, from the church age to the uh, to the tribulation age, and Matthew takes you from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Those are the three transitional books. So I wish I had my uh, timeline here, but you got just uh, you got your line here. Just pretend that's a line, and. Uh, right here say that's the cross this is the church age and it goes until the rapture 
and then seven years of tribulation and then Jesus comes back and puts his feet on the Mount of Olives and this is the Millennial Kingdom and we right now are after the cross pretend that's the cross right there and we are in the church age after the cross the New Testament started at the cross not before the cross the death of the testator Hebrew says brings in the New Testament so when Jesus died it started the New Testament the church age started in Acts chapter uh, 2 and it goes all the way until we are raptured out then it goes right back to the uh, to Israel in the tribulation remember it's 144,000 of the tribes of Israel that will be preaching the gospel uh, they'll know uh, that Jesus is their Messiah and it'll be a different gospel than what we're saved under now anyway that's the book of Acts folks I appreciate y'all watching I think I'm gonna uh, I enjoy doing these and uh, I think about eight other people do <laughs> I like my spoon so uh, I'm gonna continue right on I'm just gonna go uh, right into Romans uh, Romans is my favorite uh, book of the Bible because that's the one that I got saved through so uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, studying now it's a quick survey I'm not a Bible scholar I'm a truck driver but uh, there you go we'll start in books of Romans and I will be doing driving videos too but I like to have the Bible open when I'm doing these studies all right Lord bless you and read that Bible and uh, pray without ceasing. Amen.